new tutorial. This next tutorial is from a response and a comment, and it's about doing first-person perspective in a 3DX Nay game. So, basically, I spent a while already making it for you, and it took a lot of research, and I'm going to in detail explain everything that I did to make it a first person perspective. So the first thing I did was, yeah, I made a little guy, so you'll notice that the texture that the model is different. And I'll run it so I can prove to you that it is operational. Okay. So as you can see, I can look up and down, I can look left, I can look right. And then I can go forward, I can go backward and I can go side to side. So now let's explain how I'm able to do this. There's a lot of mathematics that involves in this, but luckily I took a nice shortcut. Okay, so all of this is located in the player class. So, what we have to do is we have to have the camera's position basically like in the face of the guy. I'll show you what I mean. Um, basically right there. We want the camera to be right at his face. Okay? That's all. That's what we want. Right there. So, basically how to do that is we have the position of the player right here. And then I just guessed I approximated 14 to get his face right up there. And yeah. Now, the next thing is what direction we have to create a sphere with which this camera can rotate. So this root camera can rotate about this entire area, okay? We want it to be... Let's see if I can reproduce it. I don't know if it's really possible. No, it's not really... It's not possible on this, but okay. He has to be able... The camera is never going to move. The camera has to pivot, and it has to look at something that's rotating around in a sphere. So with that point that's rotating the camera is looking at, that point is this look at. So it's just a vector, and it's going to start at 0, 0, and it's just going to go forward, and that's it. And we're just going to create a circle about the origin, and it'll have a radius of 15. It doesn't really matter what the radius is, actually. I don't know why I chose 15. But I did choose 15. So it's just a sphere that goes around here. Okay, so now we have all this stuff, we have input and everything. Okay, so the way I made him look up and down is I just created a rotation x, and so the rotation x increases by this much, or decreases by this much. So if you press W on your keyboard, uh, he'll look up. If you press S on the keyboard, it looks down. Make sure you look at the signs. As the rotation increases, you're going to look down. As the rotation decreases, you're going to look up. So keep that in mind. Okay, so this is the meat of everything that I'm doing. Alright, so there's something called a quaternion in C sharp. And this makes your life indefinitely easier. Instead of having to do all the mathematical calculation and trigonometry and matrices that you'd usually have to do to find what the rotation is, instead you just create a quaternion and you do create from yaw pitch roll. So, this rotation y, yaw, is basically rotating. Look, if you look over here, it's rotating uh, like this. Kind of just like turning around like that, like you're just standing up and turning around. And uh, this one is basically the uh, pitch is like this. It's like, yeah. And then your roll is like this. Alright, so hopefully that made a little bit of sense to you. Is that what the basically what that means? Why basically turning around, determining which direction you want to go in, is going to be in your yaw, your rotation x, 
how high you're looking up, you're looking up or down, that's going to be your pitch. Okay. So next, you want to, uh, you're going to use your quaternion to transform your vector. So I have this look at variable, which is at some point tangent to my sphere. So basically I'm going to rotate this point corresponding to this quaternion that I'm using with this rotation, this specific yaw and this specific pitch and without any roll. So that's what this Q is. It's very important. Okay, so basically what I did is actually remember when we were rendering things and you always, and I told you that you should always translate your things at the very end and you should rotate things at the beginning and translate things at the end. That's We're using that when we're doing this. This uh, look at is with respect to the origin. So I'm rotating this look at point around the origin. But then I need to translate it to where the camera position is so I can create my view with corresponding to where the player is located and where the camera is located. So I have to I have to add the camera position to this look at position that is calculated without us doing any work. So yeah, that's basically the gist of this tutorial. Um, hopefully this made sense. I'm not sure if it did. And tell me if I should remake it, because I'm definitely willing to do so. And I'll show you the product one more time, and then I'll sign off. Alright, oh, my nose. Uh, Alright, so I'm looking up, I'm looking down, looking left, looking right, moving forward, moving back, and I still have those same collisions that I was doing earlier, which is rather nice. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This is, this concludes my tutorial. Uh, I'll be making libgdx tutorials eventually when I have time, and yeah, you should watch those too. Uh, so have a good one, you do. I am yours now.